In this video, we are going to be trying out some new products from Elf Cosmetics. <gasps> no way. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why do these things happen to me? Wow, wow, oh my God. No, for real, wow. <gasps> Yo, oh dear God, I did a little much. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be, <laughs> like, I don't know what's gonna happen. One of it's a girl, Mena. In this video, we are going to be trying out some new products from Elf Cosmetics. I'm sure you've seen them before, but I have not reviewed them, so we're gonna do that today. Also, make sure that you are subscribed here. If not now, then before you finish this video, you're gonna wanna subscribe. Like, I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> make sure you follow me on Instagram, because when I'm not here, I am there. Also, if you're in the US and you wanna text me, join my community, it's free. The number is always in the description box below. And so will be all the products that I use in today's video. So let's get started. Now, in case you're wondering, this is a off the shoulder dress from Shein. If you saw my Shein haul last year, I thought about it last night, I was like, I need to do more clothing hauls. I don't know what happened. I don't know if this is still available. If it is, I will link it below. I also am sitting in front of the window. There are no other lights in front of me. So this is absolute natural light. I'm loving how it looks. I hope it cooperates because I need it to. Today's fragrance is Ellis Brooklyn. This was sent to me. This is sun fruit eau de parfum this is a new fragrance this is in the fresh fragrance family the scent type is fresh solar i've never heard of that fresh solar you heard that before i don't know okay and the keynotes are fresh fig hand-picked jasmine vanilla planifolia inspired by tan lines ripe fruit bare skin mm, it's creamy and unapologetic it also has bergamot hand-picked jasmine cyclamen wow coconut vanilla it's addictive and aspirational no, mm. it does smell so sweet and fresh and amazing. Wow, I love it. Spraying that all over the body. We doing fragrance in the videos these days, okay? So starting off with lip primer. I know it's a problem, Elf Cosmetics. I don't know what to do. I like love this primer and it's no longer available. It's like a problem, okay? But a primer from Elf that we are using today is their new Power Grip Primer. Now, I know that we are supposed to apply this with the fingers tips, pat onto the skin so don't rub. The warmth of our fingers will help the product melt into the skin for even application. Allow 30 seconds to set before applying the makeup. All right, so let's go ahead and put some on the finger. All right, so I'm rubbing it. Scentless, so that's good. It feels like a serum, but it's, it's sticky. Okay, well I do have to rub a little bit. Oh no, they said pat, okay. They did say pat. I've already done my skincare, already added SPF. All of that is very, very important, okay? Now I am going to be using the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundations. I'm not going to use them as a foundation, although you may decide to do that. I don't prefer to use a powder foundation as a foundation. Do you understand? If you watch my video on powders, how I use them, you'll understand it better, but I'm gonna use it the way that I normally use powder foundations, and that is more of a finishing step. I'll use one of them as a contour, and I will use one of them to set my highlight, okay? That's how I'm going to do it. If you wanna see how it's used as an actual foundation, Andrew Renee did do a video on those, and she used it on her face as a base, and it looked really good, so check out her video. I would say that it's on my face evenly, it feels weird that I didn't that I didn't rub it in, but I wanna follow the directions, okay? That's important, follow the directions. Hey, hi. 30 seconds, where you at? Hi. When the duck goes quack quack, we are ready to go. All right, here we are. I'm not getting a tacky feel like I would with the Milk Hydro Grip, but here we are. I'll take these earrings off in case you're wondering. These I got from Fashion Nova years ago. Sorry, I did, can't imagine that they're still alive and available, okay? Very sorry about that. All right, foundation. I used to have an e.l.f. foundation. It's old, so I threw it away, and I don't have a new one, so we're not going to do e.l.f. today. I'll do Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the color 15 Neutral, all right? And this is a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Back of the hand is where I like to apply the product and then we're gonna rub onto the face. Ooh, am I darker? I can't remember how this 
one worked because I used it a while ago in a video. And if you wanna see that video, you can also check that out on my page. But that first swipe may be concerned like, wait, what? Now, there is some tug to my skin, I do have to say. So I am feeling like there is a grip for sure underneath this foundation. So I'm not wiping too much because I don't wanna disrupt anything and then make my face look crazy. But there's a tug going on, okay. Is this a dupe to the Hydro Grip? I don't know. Um, have you tried this primer? Let me know. Yeah, now that I'm blending this foundation and I'm reminded that, yeah, I need to like blend and it's not gonna match my the outer part of my face too much, more so the inner part, but it definitely is still my match for sure. Medium coverage and it looks hydrating. In another video, I also tried this Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 24 hour five in one concealer my god today. These names, why do they do this to us? Like what do they want? This is the number 76 Caramel. And I do recall enjoying this. I'm saying this because I have two different makeup kits, okay? Got one kit in the bathroom, so when you see me doing videos in the bathroom, the kit that I'm using is entirely different. And then I have this one that I use for my studio, but you know that I have been filming in the living room and just all over the house these days. So I'm like, I remember using this and I didn't like it. So here we are. Makeup sponges are also linked below. These are from Amazon. I just dampened it. Make sure you watch my video on how to dampen your makeup sponge to ensure that your sponge is not actually dry or that it's not actually soaking wet because there's a difference you know I like to blend on the outer part of my face first making sure that it tapers you can barely see this wait this color is mm. it, what happened where's the sponge thing the sponge thing came out Okay, hi. Okay, I guess I'll use my finger. <laughs> yeah, start on the outer part of the face. You do want it to diffuse as you get toward the hairline. Back in the day when I was new to makeup, I used to bring my concealer all the way to my hairline. It's not gonna look good when it blends. It's not gonna look good when it's all together. It's just not gonna look good, period. So make sure that you do that. This is. Why is it not covering me enough? Wait, do I like this? Hold on, I haven't used this particular concealer in over a week, maybe even two weeks. So I don't remember if I like this or not. What's going on with this? It's not giving me enough coverage. And I am showing you the full face because I know you're gonna wanna know how I achieve the look. Leftover product under the chin to reverse highlight, always a must. I am gonna do my cream contour now, even though I'm gonna use one of the powder foundations as a contour. You know, do a cream first, like, come on. I need both of them, son. I need both of them. This is the Fenty Beauty 12 feet Tease Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I just mixed up the words, but you get the plan. You get what's happening. My face looks very yellow. We're gonna fix this, don't worry. <laughs> I don't think I like that concealer, okay. Mm, not, at least not with this foundation because of the tones. I'm not liking the way that it looks. It's giving me very, very warm, very, very orange looking. That's what I mean by that, okay? This is the Sephora 56 brush and applying this close to my sideburns first. Very important to bring that shadow back to my face, especially since this foundation washed me out. And really that is the whole plan. You just want to even out everything in the beginning with your foundation. And then you want to go in and create that dimension by highlighting and contouring. And I feel like nine out of 10 people when they do their face are highlighting and contouring, unless you just really prefer a very simple three minute makeup routine, then I can't imagine that you are highlighting and contouring. I just imagine you're just putting on a foundation to match your skin tone, even things out, and then you call it a whole night. And if that is what you do, and that's Gucci, you feel what I'm saying? But this is what we do around here. We like to bring back the dimension, baby, like that. Ow. Already is looking like something, you know, and I never do this, but we're doing it today because it's giving very orange right now. I told you that I have been, I've, I've come back around the corner with the nose contour being very defined. I've just been looking and being like, I need my face to be more snatched. What is missing? And it's this. Normally I would take the leftover product on the brush that I just used and then do this. But nowadays I'm taking product from the actual contour, but diffusing it a bit on my back of my hand and then applying. It gives me a little bit more of intensity than me taking the product from the brush that I just used. Just something, you know, and just look. 
Look at the snatchery, you feel what I'm saying? When this all comes together, the nose be sitting, baby, and bring it into the eyebrows because you just want your eyebrow to feed into your nose contour. It's just a makeup artist trick. Do it if you wanna look snatched and bomb. Oh, and if you're wondering, earrings, Amazon, braid necklace, Amazon as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take the butt of the sponge and blend out the harsh lines. Remember, we always talk about this. We don't want to have any lines of demarcation, baby. And then because the concealer is toward the upper part of the sponge, we're gonna go this way because we're not trying to put the contour on top of our concealer. Hello. You see how that blending just makes it look so much better. And now to the first powder foundation that I have. So this is the Elf Cosmetics Camo Powder Foundation in the color Tan 450N. I had already purchased some other ones and I was not feeling like those colors were for me. So I'm gonna return them. I hope that these are gonna be good matches. So when I'm setting my concealer, I normally look down because I'm using a loose powder to do that. This is a pressed powder, meaning it's compacted. When I shake it, nothing's gonna fall out, right? So it's pressed versus a loose powder, which looks like sugar. It's, it'll fly all over your makeup case if you don't seal it correctly. All right, this is a pressed powder. I'm using the Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush. And what I'm gonna do is take some left to right. Got some fallout, so let's tap off the excess. And I am gonna look down to really make sure that I don't have any creasing. Keep the eyes looking a little psychotic. It's very, very important. You know, let me look up, let me look up, okay? <laughs> this is new for me, okay, hi. Go right closest to the eye first. Ooh, this looks good. Side of the nose, you definitely wanna get all that. Don't let the side of your nose be all creased up looking crazy, okay? This already looks like I've applied my Wow, wow, oh my God, wow. No, for real, wow. <gasps> Look at the difference. So normally what I do is I set my concealer with a beige or white translucent or banana type yellow powder. And then when I apply my face powder, I go over that area again to diffuse and bring everything together. But this literally looks like I've already done those two steps. I am so shocked. Look at how much more lifted my eye looks. Like it looks more smooth, flat. <gasps> Yo, I'm about to be doing powder foundation under my eyes all the time. It looks creamy, but in a good matte way. It looks comfortable. It doesn't look dry. It looks great. Oh yeah, like this is giving me coverage, honey. Elf, I see what you doing. I really do. I really do. Like. <laughs> I see what you're doing and stuff. We're just gonna do this very sloppily because I am going to redefine the contour in a second. Wow, okay, so this is the perfect color for my skin tone, TN450 and links are always below, okay? Now, this is the other powder foundation. The color is Rich 660N. This is looking really, really dark, yo. So let's go easy. This is a Sephora 59 brush. Picking up some product, tapping off the excess, going on the contour. Oh my goodness, this is really dark. Dark. We are going to need the face powder because it is a color that is in between these two and that is what is going to bring everything together. This is looking really, really good. I'm glad that this is also neutral. So was the powder that I used to set my concealer. This is looking really, really good. The foundation that I was using, I'm going to have to retire that because I was just in a different country. And as we enter into the summertime, we need to switch our foundations up. I have a video coming on that because it's important. Don't be out here looking dumb. We gonna talk about it, don't you worry. Let me not forget to snatch my nose again. So same color, we are gonna go easy because this is really dark. Taking some, I'm just gonna put some back in my hand and go here, baby. Oh dear God, I did a little much. <laughs> when the nose contour goes wrong, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> We gonna have to soften this up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is why I stopped doing this. And now here I am doing it again. Like why? Baby, baby, baby. I wanna know you. There's no one above you. 
I wanna love you, baby, baby, baby. Who knows this song? I wanna be. I'm taking a brush. I don't know what is on here. I forget when I used this last, but I'm I'm wiping it off as I diffuse this dark contour. And just look at that. Oh, it looks ten times better. Praise his name. <laughs> now the powder that I'm using as my face powder. Again, watch my video on the powders that I use and how. You'll know what I mean by that. But this is gonna be the face powder color. This is the Elf Camo Powder Foundation, and the color is red. 610 C. I chose a C because I don't always want to look neutral all over my whole entire face. Now let's see though, because looking at it, I'm a little concerned. <sighs> okay, let's just see. Okay, taking some of my complex culture powder brush, and I'm really going in between the highlight and the contoured areas. Okay, out of habit, I'm gonna just go over my under eye. I just have to, because I wanna get this area and this area, and the brush is big, so it's going to cover the whole thing, okay? We have to to really tie this in. Let's just, let's just go over the eye while we're here, okay? Whatever. This is looking really good, though. It's looking real good or whatever. <gasps> what do you think? Wowzers! Uh, and I do have to say that right now, I am very, very, very pleased, if it's not already obvious. I mean, what what in the world? I'm wanting more contour. Do I deserve? Am I going overboard? If I am, then I'm doing the right thing. Now, if this inner look, then I don't know what is, honey. Around my lips, I have on the lip bar, Savage. I just love it. It just complements every lip color that you want to diffuse in a way. Back in the day, we used to wear a hot pink lip like this by itself. Those days are over. Brown skin girls, we need to diffuse the lip color. I love using liquid lipstick as a lip liner. That's just what I love to do. So I used that on the outside like you saw. And then on the inside, this is Maybelline Liquid Matte. You know, the whole long name and the color is Inspirer. And baby, if I look good, just tell me. If I look good, just let me know. I want to put a gloss. I don't do gloss often. Let's do a gloss. I'm just, I'm interested today. Sticking with pink, I'm going to do Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I'm not using this for the plumping effects, just for the cute pink color. Make this more vibrant. Ooh. All right, that's the finished look. You already know, I love the powder foundations. I hate that it took me this long, but they seem to have expanded their options and I found three that work perfectly for the kid. I love this look. I also like the primer. I mean, it did give a gripping effect. That was cool too. That was nice to use. So again, all the links are going to be below. I'm gonna link two videos for you to watch so you don't have to go anywhere. Don't be in a rush. Like, come on, stick around for a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me here and on Instagram. Comment and let me know which part of this look you love the most. And as always, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you watch my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.